All right, here we've got a PVZ cast, or should I say a ZVP cast, replay that came in. This is replay number two that's going up on my channel here, and I'm excited to do this. What league are you in? D. That is StarCraft 2 League D, Diamond, not StarCraft 1 League D in, uh, in the old Battle.net. Not is with your account. All right, he doesn't think it's his account. Um, kind of a weird chat start, but we've got one of my friends here, Tlaloc, up here in the top left, gave me this replay. He said it was, quote, a satisfying game. So, spoiler alert, it's satisfying. Doesn't mean that he won, but it's satisfying. So... We've got a interesting, really early scout here from the Protoss to put down a Nexus first. Kind of a funky thing. Um, I play Zerg as well and have been very much enjoying uh, messing around with the Protoss Fast Expand. I really like proxy hatchering, hatching, proxy hatchering, placing proxy hatcheries into a Protoss base, because it really messes around with them. If you get one up and get a Roach Warren, uh, and even just get a couple Roaches, you can really disturb them a bunch. You can spread creep in their base, and they'll have to build a cannon if they want to clear out your creeps, since they're not going to have a Robo forever. Um, so if you get a Tumor, you can just keep on going across their whole base. We've got a quick third from Tlelak here. I definitely dig it. A little bit supply blocked. Just got the Overlord out. Um, was uh, 28 out of 28 there, but got that fixed pretty quick. And it has another one perfectly on the way, so that is what you want to do when you're droning up. Just got that out, five more drones. Quick Evo here. Very quick Evo. Evo before any other tech buildings. Okay, map hack reported. Lulz. We got here. Highly doubt there's any map hacking. I haven't even. Do they even have? Is StarCraft 2 like that? Uh, you know. That basic that people can map hack? Seven gate, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six gateways and a seventh. We got a seven gate here. Warp gate is almost done. 40 seconds left here. Tlaloc scouting it. It's pretty absurd that he did that right in front of his vision. I would like to see this spine crawler poking away at the rocks. As you might as well, right? Um, proxy pylons going up. This overlord should probably be on patrol around this area to see any of the shenanigans coming. This is going to be kind of scary. He's got these four crawlers here, which is good, definitely good. Yeah, see here you can have your crawlers assist. I'm taking these down so you get this done a little bit quicker. Um, now that plus or that early Evo chamber, this is all coming down. I like this. You got speed for his links just done, and then plus one attack done. And he's got his. Uh... Oh what? Wow. Okay. So, Protoss player was banking a thousand minerals and like 400 gas, and then decided to pull back. He was supply blocked. No, he just became supply blocked after he lost these. Wow. Are these Zerglings gonna finish the job? Yes, they are. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Even any proxy pylons that might have been done here are gonna get found by these links. That is some great pathing. Um, so that build doesn't really make much sense out of the Protoss. If he was gonna do this third, he could have put it up a lot earlier since he was banking a thousand minerals. Probably could have already had this done in mining. Um, surprisingly, Protoss ahead in harvesters here. Really staying on his pro production. Not really staying on top of his chrono boost that much. I would like to see double forge chronoing out upgrades. As a Zerg player, that's a scary thing to go up against is when you just know they're getting mad, mad upgrades. Um, Zerg here, we've got potential big, big supply block coming up. 1,600 minerals, 700 gas, and 120 out of one, 124 out of 126. Now he's just going to, if he tries to make units, he'll realize that he's 
Supply blocked with 18 larvae. So, now that he pushed back here, 10 overlords, there we go. <laughs> nice. Um, he's pushed him back, it's 3 base versus 3 base. As a zerg, I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking dropping would be pretty sweet. He, uh, he hasn't busted on his rocks. So if you go over to the third base, after you're dropping, then you're completely in a controlling position. I'd love to see that. I think that getting the drop upgrade, you know, when you're in this macro situation, you might as well do it because look, he's already got speed. Might as well have the drop capability. Even if you drop in a few lings, you force warpins. Lings and roaches, you force warpins. You can even put down queens. Bloop, plop them down, and then you are, can already start tumors since you can goop with your. Uh, never mind, we got a battle. This does not go well for our compadre Plelock. We got a lot of zealots getting in really close, and then a whole bunch of immortals. Watch how many roaches die, trying to kill off this one mortal. Oop, we killed the one. Now every other roach dies. Oop, killed two immortals, that's good. Did not quite get that last one. So look at that, that was nine hits. Only took 10 down, down 10 shields each time. Um, yeah, that was rough. That's 164 supply to 106. See, this is something that sort of confuses me. Why wouldn't you keep upgrading? I think that, that should be happening. He's got the Infestor upgrade done, but no Infestors out on the map and none in production. There we go, here's four. Did this get cleared out or something? No, he's haven't transferred any drones over there. What do we have for the drone count? 56 to 88 for the Protoss. What the heck is he doing? Has way too many probes. He's up by 45 supply, not 30 supply, but he, look at that, 90 workers. This is why pros do this. They scan here. Oh, wow. You know, you say if you have any more than two rows and a couple more, then you're, you've, you got oversaturation. Oh my God. So this one, undersaturated. This one is natural. Look at how many probes. 24, 32, 37 probes just on minerals there. And 27 there. So 64 probes on just mining minerals in those two bases. That is ridiculous. Here we go, though. We got a big engagement. These crawlers are doing great. One big thing that this press does not have going for him. With this build, with this stalker heavy composition, you definitely want to have a lot of force fields involved to control the battle. He is not of that. Unfortunately for Tlaloc, all of these lings are getting completely held up. They're just getting stuck trying to fight one zealot. Would have been nice to have those all around. What do we have in production here? 20 more lings. I dig that. 20 more lings. Do we have injects going off? No injects quite yet. Ooh, that hurts to have that. Semi-favorable trade. Actually, the Paras came out ahead. Why did it come out ahead so much? 1-1. One, one. All right, here comes the equalizer, the fungals. Oh yeah, nice fungal there. No blink. So, he's not gonna be able to make an escape whatsoever. Here he goes. Ooh, that's painful. That anti-roach force was way too anti-roach and not enough anti-ling. So Zerg's recovered a little bit. Protoss really is mining himself out quick. Look at that. That's ridiculous. How many? There's like 10 probes per patch. And here comes a counterattack. Ouch. Shut down. Shut down by the lings, by the zealots there. Alright. Now, I still think drops would be pretty nice as the Zerg. This is so wide open. Just drop in a whole bunch of roaches and lings, start taking out all of his pylons while you expand and do drone transfers and the like over this way. And hit that third. That thing should not be living, especially since he hasn't taken down the rocks. And he doesn't have blink, so he can't bring all the stalkers here and then chain blink down to get any defense going. So... It's 148. We got some tech switching going on here from Tlaloc, which is great. Probably a pretty, kind of a late hive, 
but it'll work because the Protoss is just turtling up. He is not going to be pressuring. Well, maybe he will. He's put on a whole bunch of gates. Really needed to have this fourth up a long time ago. Let's hope that he transfers a bunch of probes right away because he needs to. Do we have any probes? Where all the probes go? Wow. There's the probe line. Look at that. That is an amazing amount of probes. 13 investors coming out now. So there was using up some of that gas. 13 investors. T plus two carapace about to get in. Oh no! Ouch. Uh, another key upgrade I want to point out. No burrow. No burrow and no blink. Both players would be helped out if they got their respective upgrade. Here we go. He's pushing in. That is not too bad of a position. He does not have any sentries though. If he could just force field off this ramp right here, he could double force field. Force field off the two ramps while he takes out the main. That would be gorgeous. But he does not have any force fields. Getting a little bit surrounded here. He's killing a lot. Killing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Would have been nice to see some corruptors maybe. Because you can morph corruptors while you're morphing the greater spire. Um, but you can also make 42 roaches, that's another option as well. So this force is probably going to clean up by this mass roach enforcement. Ooh, except for all of these ones that were just move pointed, just move commanded in. Made that trade a lot less efficient. Now it's getting sort of cleaned up by these stalkers that are coming out. 1-1 one, one is to 2-2. Two, two. Alright, there we go. That sort of helps to equalize. <laughs> one infested Terran here. Let's see if it gets a kill. Um, doing like a lot of damage. Goes down. So, the Protoss player, what is he going for? He sort of thought he was going to go for a lot of Colossus, but he never got range. <laughs> Ouch, this guy is just really skimping on the key upgrades. No blink, no range. And apparently no gases over here. He's really gas starved. This guy's like... Hope he's never in charge of a country's economy, because it is going to be the worst country ever. Whew. How many bros we got here? One full screen of 24 plus another 12, 36. Still got a decent pressuring army, though. I mean, Zerg's pretty comfortable with this base over here. It would be kind of cool to see him take this one. He's been having lings over there for so long. Wouldn't really mind that. Protoss has been up in supply this whole time, but let's check that worker count. 89 workers! He should probably start attacking with his workers at this point. Or get a god dang observer. Are you kidding me? The creep. Does he have any observers out in the whole field? No observers. Wow. No observers, no blink, no thermal lance. This is the craziest Protoss ever. He just like does not want to use the units that Protoss is built for. So he's coming and attacking. He's doing pretty good. He's got plus two attack. But these broods, these broods are pretty sick. No attack upgrades on the actual shot. What do they call it? Broodling strike. But all those little broodlings are 2-2, two -two, I believe. 2-2, two -two, or I don't know. There's no melee units that I can find. A drone would have the upgrade, wouldn't he? No, he doesn't get attack upgrades. So Protoss is still almost maxed, but that whole worker difference is still there. 33 supply difference in workers. This is where I'm talking about with Burrow. He has no observers out on the map. You can save all these drones. They might even get saved. He might be distracted enough. Yep. Ouch. In the meantime, we got a base race. All these probes dying, but we have a bunch of probes sitting over here. So a big, big old base race, but Zerg decides it's not worth it. It's not worth it to go and kill that base. Um, I tend to disagree. I do think this would be a nice time to have drops. Imagine that. Three overlords. Bing! Come in there. Start trading efficiently. Talking about trading efficiently. This is not efficient. Ouch. Owned. Ooh, and this. Ouch, coming down the ramp. Coming down the ramp. No blink. Filing single file. 
into Mass Infestor Roach Broodlord. Ouch, 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 ouch. So you can watch his Protoss supply plummet here as all of his speed lots get completely fungal and owned. And then Broodlord's going to work. No blink, no chance for survival. Wow, that was great. Now what's he got? Nothing. He leaves the game. No GG after, you know, if he would have just had Blink with some Colossus range, he probably would have been alright, but he didn't do that. He was probably one of the weirdest Paras players I've ever seen. But congrats to Tlelock for holding on, losing his main, his natural, and his third and still going on to win. That's the resiliency of Zerg. It's like a Hydra. You cut off one head and another one comes back. Alright, so that has been this second cast. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll uh, see when the next one is that I do.